I'd now like to introduce Marnie Williams from Hummingbird Center for Hope. It's 2002. Three months ago, I gave birth to our second child. Six weeks ago, I sat in the doctor's office and listened to the devastating news that my husband had terminal cancer. Three weeks ago, I watched him sign a living will. One week ago, Keith told me for the last time he loved me. He took his last breath. I felt his last heartbeat. As I stand in the exact same spot where we met seven years ago, I scatter Keith's ashes into the river. Today is my birthday. I turn 31. I am a widow. Can you imagine this? I can't. Yet this was my reality. I was a widow and solo parent to my young family. Shortly after Keith died, I joined a support group where I was with other widows who had been married for 40 plus years. I quickly realized that my grief was very different from theirs. My grief included my children's grief and their broken hearts. My grief included the realization that my family's future solely rested on my shoulders. My grief was a realization that my peers did not want to know. It was too close to home for them. It was a reality that it could be them. My lack of support and um, my grief and lack of support inspired me to create the Hummingbird Center for Hope. At Hummingbird, we support widowed parents who have children living at home. Through our unique peer-based programs, we offer education to widowed moms and dads to help them build a healthy grief journey for themselves. Healthy grief is about honoring emotions, asking for help, building community, and maintaining a relationship with the person who died. Modeling healthy grief gives our children the same permission, tools, and coping strategies they can use to navigate their grief and other stressful moments in their lives. Lack of time, childcare, and finances are some of the barriers our parents face that prevent them from, from joining our programs. And this is why we are implementing our virtual supports. Virtual means parents could join from the hockey arenas, the soccer fields, the dance studio, or from the comforts of their home, of their home at the end of the night. There are 24,000 young widowed people living in our region. Tonight, we are asking for $50,000 to help us expand our virtual reach to more widowed parents to help them build a healthy grief journey for themselves and their young families. In the words of my son when he was 10 years old, he says, death and dying can equal happy living. Thank you. <laughs> 